Well, hello guys. We've been really busy all week long and I'm finally complete. I've uh, been working on my solar power system and uh, let me show you the addition that I have. Now this is my EcoWorthy uh, solar tracker. And if you've watched some of my earlier videos, I did uh, kind of a how I installed it and it has performed really well, but I just needed more panels. So uh, I thought about different things to do, making stationary panels and all that. And I just was shying away from that because you just can't beat uh, the output of these panels tracking the sun. So with that being said, we've got two now. And uh, I tell you what, really happy with it so far. I've been uh, running my lights all day on the, in the shop and uh, shop fans running. And uh, I even turned my little office air conditioner on and ran it for an extended period of time and it's been working well too. I set this one up just like I did the other one. I used an air conditioner disconnect box. And on the bottom, I bought some special little plugs so you could uh, plug solar power cables into the bottom. Uh, mounted my little uh, battery box up off the ground, used a shelf bracket, and uh, then my wind speed sensor, used another shelf bracket. This basically the same control head. Settings are a little different. I hadn't really figured all those out. I need to do a little adjusting on it, but uh, I need to read more on that because uh, it's just calibrated a little different. I use that flexible conduit three quarter inch with a eight gauge electrical cable in it and I use a little trencher, trenched out about 10 foot from the pole and then trenched over to the building where I have an electrical box just as a junction point to enter the building. You'll see two of them there. One of them is the first one I installed, and then the bright one, that is the latest one that I installed. Well, this is my solar board, and uh, this top, top unit right here, that's my charge controller for my newest set of panels. It's a Victron smart charger. And then the one down here below, that is... Uh, the charge controller, another Victron for the uh, original panels that I installed. Something else that I installed down here, that's a Victron Smart Shunt. And uh, the reason why I like those so much is because they have an app on their phone. And I'll probably take a picture of that and kind of show you what it looks like. But uh, lots of information there. And this is a 24 volt system. Hopefully you can read it. I'm maxed out on voltage right there that I have set uh, 28.2. And the very most you can go on a 24 volt system is 29. So I'm staying well below that. What I have here uh, for my power inverter, it's a pure sine wave, 2500 watt. Uh, it's been really doing pretty well. I didn't know if I would need to uh, get a bigger one. Maybe I will down the road. We'll just see how this one performs. This is a ProTrans uh, generator transfer switch, but the way I have it hooked up is I have my solar power coming into here, and so I can switch from solar power to utility power just by turning these rocker switches. All of these control 110 volt circuits. I have five of those in the shop. This uh, six rocker, I don't have anything to hook up to it right now, but who knows, maybe something in the future. Uh, up is solar power. So I have everything that's 110 in my shop right now is operating on solar power. Really no difference the way everything operates. Uh, still comes on at about the same speed and everything. 
and so that'll be nice this summer. So that's one fan. Here's my big fan. And it powers up, works good. And with those two fans on, it did drop the uh, line voltage down to about 28 volts, but that that's kind of misleading. Uh, 28 volts on this chart, my batteries are still fully charged. So uh, I could run a long time like that. I'm gonna do like a little screenshot so you can kind of see what the, the smart shunt, the kind of readout that it gives you. It's like, uh, basically what it does, it's like a fuel gauge. It lets you know how far your batteries are and, and all that, what kind of life you got left. And I've been out here in the shop all day playing with this thing. And so I've best just been having a blast. Okay, so now we turned on the third fan and uh, that did kind of drop the, the voltage down but we're still well above what's considered 100% battery charge. And so it'll probably drop down a little bit, but uh, these are smart charge controllers. And right now this one is putting out just a little bit. And this one, it's more or less stopped because it reads that the battery voltage is at maximum capacity and so it doesn't see a need to be adding any voltage to it but this one up here is like in trickle charge mode so it's it's giving it a little bit all right i've turned the fans off in the shop and uh, inside the shop i have a just a little meter it's more or less just an extension of what the battery voltage is reading out out in the shop and so after turning the other fans off and all that, uh, battery voltage climbs back up pretty quickly. And here's the big thing that I was wanting is I want to be able to run the air conditioner in the shop and uh, in my shop office. And uh, so here we go. There's fan. And it's in air conditioner mode. So boy, no sweating in the shop office today or this summer. So anyway, real happy with that. Looks like everything's working out great. So anyway, guys, I'll tell you what, I couldn't be happier with my solar power system that I have right now. I've got two of those big solar tracker arrays out there and they uh, both have 900 watts of solar panels on each one and so that's a total of 1800 watts and because they are 40 percent more efficient because they're constantly tracking the sun to get the proper angle to the panel they're basically equivalent of like 2500 watts so anyway man we are feeling good today so i appreciate y'all coming by the shop today this is rusty glove box and i'm out here